Ceviche is Peru's gift to the culinary world. It is a beautiful display of simplicity, freshness, and technique. And after today, you too will be able to make a classic version at home because that's what we're cooking and you are gonna love it. Let's cook. Ceviche is Peru's most famous dish, and contrary to popular belief, it is not of Japanese influence. There are ancient records of ceviche from before the Spanish conquest. Ancient ceviche was fish with salt and ají, which is chili pepper, and the acid from passion fruit, believe it or not, because the Spaniards brought the lime in the 1500s. Today, the lime plays a critical role because of the lime from Piuria, which is a region in Northwest Peru, which is said to be the perfect lime for ceviche. Another important component is the leche de tigre, or tiger's milk, which is the liquid that is created when the citrus touches the fish. This happens naturally, but you can also create leche de tigre using other ingredients, including fish broth, which is then added to the fish. Pioneers like Pedro Solari, who is said to have invented the modern version of ceviche, and others like Javier Wong are proponents of a simple, honest, fresh approach to a ceviche that is prepared to order in less than one minute with only five ingredients, fish, lime, ají, or the chili pepper, red onion, and salt. And that is how we're gonna make it today using a recipe by Gaston Acurio, who's Peru's probably most celebrated chef. So what fish do we use? It seems that flounder is the fish of choice when it comes to masters like Solari and Wong. However, you can use any white fish with a firm flesh. No skin, no bones. Just avoid oily, fatty varieties. But other than that, what is important is freshness. Just make sure that the fish doesn't smell like fish and that only happens at the peak of freshness. Mm, I cannot wait. Let's go. First, let's get organized. The French call this mise en place, and all mise en place is, is having all the ingredients and the tools that you need right in front of you. Cooking is always about ingredients, time, and temperature, and that is why it is so important to have great ingredients, especially with a dish like ceviche where freshness is essential. We'll prep all the ingredients and put them in what we call the conga line which is just the order in which you are going to use them in the recipe. Mise en place is less stress. Let's prep. And now it's time for shout outs. These are the people that are cooking our food, taking pictures and letting us know about it. You should try it too. Sarimar Busher made the lentils and her daughter Jade sent me a video imitating me doing a taste test. I loved it, Jade. My brother Hugo made the steak again, but now he went for this huge tomahawk using our T-bone recipe. It looked fantastic and all faithful Kathy Briseño made the French omelet for breakfast and I loved it, it looked yummy. We love it when you cook our food. 
we get inspired and we want to do more. Keep them coming. So now it's just a matter of assembly, right? Well, this is red snapper, but that qualifies actually as a white firm flesh fish. And it was the freshest. I bought it because it was the freshest today at my fish market. It had been there for an hour, right? So now we're gonna mix everything. You want all your, your ingredients cold, right? So this bowl, I don't know if you can tell that, but I had it in my freezer. And by the way, the fish, remember I said at the beginning, cannot smell like fish. It's unbelievable when fish is fresh and it doesn't smell like that. All right, so the first thing you're gonna do, now you can see here I have my conga line, right? So in, in when we are, I've been researching the this dish for a while and all the chefs agree that the order on how you put the ingredients makes a difference for ceviche. So the very first thing you're gonna add is salt and pepper. So we're just gonna add the salt first because it's gonna do two things. It's gonna draw out a little bit of moisture and it's gonna help firm the flesh up, okay? And also it will obviously impart taste, right? You kinda, you know, I'm talking about maybe that was a, I wanna say quarter teaspoon, maybe, I don't think it was half a teaspoon, okay? So you do that. Now, I'm gonna do a little bit of white pepper as well you can do black pepper if you don't have it if you don't have white pepper but the white pepper is going to just look better all the black pepper is going to have all this the specks there all right so we are going to do this and we're going to wait about a minute so during that minute i'll be telling you about certain things the first thing is that you're going to see all kinds of ceviche gaston acudio who's one of the most famous chefs uh, from peru says that ceviche is really not a recipe but more of a philosophy right it's a concept right so it's just fish with some acid and a spicy something right a little chili in peru they use a chili called ají limo which is hard to find, but I wanna say it's a little bit more spicy than a than a jalapeno. So what I did is I, I I went for a red jalapeno. If you don't, you know, so you kinda have to change things. The other thing is that in Peru, they use this lime from Piura, right? And uh, what I did was I bought key limes for this, right? So I'm using the, the key lime because it is more fragrant and it's tart, but it's it's just different. Now, a key point with the, the, the lime juice is this. Do not squeeze the lime to death because the white pith makes everything feel bitter instead of acid, right? Okay, so here we go. The next ingredient is gonna be the chili, right? Now, I did taste this, and because I took all the seeds out and everything, this is really not that hot. So I, I'm using probably twice as much. I'm gonna put that in there and just kind of mix everything around. Mmm, oh, wow. The fragrance of this chili pepper, it's amazing. And now we're gonna add the lime juice, okay? So this is half a cup and uh, probably gonna use it all, but we're gonna start with half and just start moving it around. Now, I said at the beginning that modern chefs are, and again, this has been going on for a few years already, for like probably 50 years in Peru, where this is not really marinated. It's not an hour, it's not overnight. It's basically, at the time right before you eat it okay now i don't know if you can see this but uh th we're doing this in real time and already the flesh of this fish is starting to turn white and opaque okay and that is really what you're looking for and this happens really really fast okay i think we may need a little bit more juice here because we want this liquid that forms it's called leche de tigre which like i said you can do in advance and actually enhance it with uh, aromatics and flavor and ginger and different things but also the one that happens naturally is also called leche de tigre so that's that now we're gonna add a little bit of cilantro cilantro is really optional i like it because i think it has it adds uh, brightness and it adds color to the dish, but it's really not one of the key five ingredients in the basic ceviche, right? I'm not doing a lot, just a little bit there, maybe a little bit more. Now we're gonna add ice, and the ice is gonna 
do two things help it cool down because as you're moving the fish it's gonna get warm and this dish is, needs to be served cold okay so and don't mind don't mind our dogs uh, our dogs are getting excited because we are cooking so what the ice is gonna do then is mellow out the lime besides cooling the fish and now we add the onions now the onions have been sitting here in ice water and what that does is that it mellows out the flavor and it makes them crunchy and you add that at the end because you want to keep that crunch so you need to taste for seasoning a little bit more salt a little bit more pepper and i'm gonna put a little bit more cilantro okay and that's it so now we're gonna serve A little bit of cilantro on top, and we put a couple or three of this sweet potato. The sweet potato is just boiled sweet potato, and that's just gonna add sweetness to the dish. And then we're gonna put these things around a little bit of corn. And uh, the corn, I mean, we here we find a couple of types types of corn. Peru is the country in the whole planet that has the most varieties of corn, so it's a staple in Peru. But you know what? We're gonna, this looks fantastic to me. Now, you wanna try this, this with something acidic, maybe like uh, Sauvignon Blanc, or something like Champagne. We're using Prosecco, because Prosecco, not only inexpensive, but it's also very aromatic and fruity, okay? It's actually a little bit sweet almost. It's not sweet, but it's, um, I think it's gonna complement this well. Okay, so ready for taste test. In fact, what I'm getting is a spoon, which is the typical ceviche thing because you want to drink that leche de trigger, which I don't have a lot here of, but all right. So anyway, let's go. Mm. Man, man, this is so fresh, so good. Mmm, mmm, a little bit of a sweet potato. Mm. Man. These people are masters of simplicity. This is just something, it's just so well balanced, this dish, you know? The sweetness of the corn, the onion, and the spice. And I think, ooh, look at this. I had this little, look, you can do these things for, you can add a little bit more spice, I think, because this uh, this red jalapeno thing was not really hot. And I think it um, you're able to do it. I'm gonna eat the whole, the whole chili. Mmm, mmm. Mmm, that was spicy. Ooh, now you get the sweetness. Mmm, I'm gonna do a yummy dance. I don't know what the dance is of Peru, but I'm doing a yummy dance of, yes, fantastic, awesome. Let me try the champagne. This really works. So I want you to try this because this is so, this is probably the healthiest dish I have ever made in Guts in the Kitchen. So uh, she's eating super healthy, so, I think she's gonna love this, all right? So let's let's exchange. Hello, everyone. Ooh. So, okay, ceviche. The healthiest dish ever made in, in Gus in the Kitchen. <laughs> yeah, sort of. Mm. Very yummy. Let me have a little bit of the, is the spicy too hot? Hey, well, just <laughs> have a little bit. Very spicy. But that kick adds something to it, right? Mm -hmm. Very delicious. So fresh. And and have a little bit of the corn and the sweet potato. Mm -hmm. It's a weird combination, but it works. You think like, oh my God, sweet potato with... Mm. I have to dedicate this to all our Peruvian friends. That's right. Jimena Juncosa. Jimena Juncosa. Yup, George and Ursula Chavez. Ooh. This is to you guys. And try the Prosecco now. Mm. It's really good. It is amazing. Mm. Delicious, really. It is simple. Yummy. Mm. Mm. <laughs> oh, wow. It's, a, a, it's, it's a, amazing. It's amazing. The whole combination. It works. So balanced. Totally works. I really like this. Good job, bro. Let me tell you, I think it's uh, up there. Mm -hmm. Top three, probably. <laughs> so I remember it's really good and it's so fresh. 
very fresh. My brother loves ceviche. Randy, this is for you. You gotta oh. try this. Oh my goodness. Uh, my sister loves ceviche. Mm. Julie, so. All right. This is a winner. Great job. Let okay. me finish with this. <laughs> I don't know if you can see this here, but the leche de, tri de tigre. Right there. Okay. It's oh, started. Wow. You see that? I always thought it was like milk, milk. No, that's the leche de tigre right there. And that is, that is a, a reaction that the citric has with the, with the flesh of the fish. Wow. Something else, right? I love it. Okay, Great job, fantastic. Babe. And that, like you can drink that. It is said to have some powerful properties, right? Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna be what, superwoman? Superwoman. Okay. Man, it's just amazing. You guys need to try it because again, it is something that now ceviche is so so popular now all over that you probably have tried it, but you probably haven't made it. So try it at home and try it like this. Sometimes we are afraid of say, oh my God, I, I, need, I think I need to cook this fish, you know, in the lime for an hour. No, it just changes everything. It changes the taste, it changes the texture. Mm -hmm. um, this is the way it should be done. And uh, I agree, it's just so, I mean, it's so simple, so basic, but fantastic. And pair it with a Prosecco, you'll see. So you, and let me know, let us know, right? Send us uh, from the sweet potato, the corn, do the whole thing, okay? Now, four things. Subscribe, hit like, share with your friends, and- Cook it. Cook it. <laughs> you need to, even though there's no cooking here, you need to do this one. You have yes, to. You have to I, I promise you. I promise you. It's going to be so amazing. And you can do this as an appetizer for a dinner party or something like that. Or maybe Friday night, Friday glass, night of wine, glass of wine. Glass of wine. And some ceviche. Oh my goodness. I mean, Simple. It, it's just exotic. Again, this is what we're doing. We are traveling, right? Through our kitchen. We are traveling all over the world. Okay. So from Peru, we are going to China actually Hong Kong. We're gonna have, next week, we're having soy sauce chicken. <laughs> One of your favorites. <laughs> it is freaking amazing. You're gonna love it. Come back and see us.